Oh, come on, Naki, you can do it. Everyone pray for my computer. He is an old man. And one day, okay. one day, Lucy, <laughs> we'll hit the big time and, and we'll be able to get that new computer. Oh, that would be great. I get a kind of hiragana vibe from that one, especially. I get a hiragana and also Hebrew script vibe mm. from all of these. All right, YouTube, welcome. We are in the midst of working on a writing system for Pukwak. We're deriving it from an earlier form of the language uh, so we can introduce all sorts of little historical fun tidbits and and be more naturalistic about the ways that scripts develop. So this is our plan. We are joined here today by Lucy, who is going to be the the artistic, the artistic, uh, what, what, what would we say, visionary? Do we use the word visionary here? <laughs> If you really want to. <laughs> All right, we got a visionary on standby, so let's let's not uh, let's not waste the opportunity. Let's go over to the special fancy uh, seeing Lucy's monitor version of the side webcam, and let's continue. So this is what we have so far. We have um, we have pictograms for eight different uh, eight different words in Proto Sakrat, and we need to. I think we need to come up with a way of doing every consonant in proto sakrat at least. So we have about seven more to go. Uh, so why don't we, Lucy, is it possible to extend our, our drawing surface here a bit so we can, we can do seven more? Yes, I was going to do that. Ha ha. There we go. My computer is holding up fine. Go, Mackie, go. And today we are we are blessed with uh, a bug. It seems that the YouTube chat comes in in uh, fits and starts, so we apologize for that. That seems to be out of our hands. Uh, I can see the YouTube chat on the on my phone, uh, so I figured that out. You know, that's 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 just the smarts right there that did that. Um, but it's going to look a little strange on the screen uh, on the screen here uh, and in the recording. So apologies for that. Um, but if uh, you want to, uh, if you want to be able to get your your stuff in and more in real time, uh, we're also streaming on Twitch, so you can do that. All right. So, where were we, Lucy? What do we need to do? We need to do some more. Okay, so, yes. So, although I did see something about um, for hoo hoo, I love that word. It's so cute. Um, to be more like sevens and not ones, or should we leave it? What do you guys think? Because I feel like actually if I draw... Ooh. I mean... I'm just gonna point think? I'm just gonna point out while this is going on that uh, <sighs> Marina Joseph correctly called me on my perfidy. Um, I did claim to be a tech smarts maven, but in fact I am a dunce. Uh, when it comes to using all these interfaces and I learned everything I know from Lucy. You do your best. We persevere, don't We've we? We've got one, seven, two, ones. No, that's a bit political for me. Um, hmm. What do you think? Do we stick with what it is? I kind of enjoy, I think, as it is. It's It's simple. One, one, seven. It doesn't have the same flow, you know? What if it were... What if only the leftmost one had a tail going off to the left? Then it looks like 7-Eleven. Like the store? Like the store. Okay, let's do that. I kind of like that. Or... That? Either of those is nice. Hmm... What do you guys think? Two lines giving a salute. It's getting a bit vertical. All right. What do you think, Colin? What should we go for? The small seven. Small seven. The last one I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's our hoo-hoo. 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 Um, I might keep the old hoo-hoo in case we need it. Yeah, it's quite pretty. But, yeah. It is nice, yeah. 
All right. So what else do we need to do? We need a P. A P. And w there's an obvious choice for, for P, which is Pukak. The, uh, Pukak. the root that gives us Pukak, the name of the language. Uh, so this is a bird, specifically a fowl type of bird. So prototypically a chicken, I think would be the best the best thing to okay. represent here. Let's see. Do we want rooster? You know? Please, cockadoodle do. Like what? Because <laughs> we can, you know, a little plume. Um... Hmm. And friends, you should see when I try and draw a chicken, when I'm teaching, I often am teaching little stories about animals and this kind of thing. As, as those of you who saw the uh, the live stream on the weekend uh, with with Luke Ranieri over on Polymathy, uh, as you will know, I like these teaching using these stories uh, about animals. They are fun. And as a result, I often have to draw a wide variety of animals. And I'm there with a tiny little the tiny little tablet Well, those longtime viewers of this channel will know that I sometimes struggle to make the most accurate representations of objects from the natural world uh, on that little tablet and therefore uh, much fun is had by everyone involved mm. and there's let's just well, say there's, there's frequent confusion like call is that meant to be an eagle because that looks like a chicken and vice versa <laughs> Draw the chickeniest chicken you can. Okay. Um, plume and beak. Chubbier. Chubbier. Um, hmm. I'm just kind of looking at this point. This is, I, I'm very interested. Oh, I like that. With feet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It's, you know, it's difficult to keep it in the style because it's more complicated. Taking right? notes. So maybe. Well, I think that hourglass shape is crucial. Mm. There's a little plume. Mm -hmm. um, so what if it was just hourglass, plume, and beak? Well, because hmm. we have a feather. I'm getting crazy here. Hmm. I also like triangle head. Triangle. Yeah, I say we simplify. We just try. Why don't you try that hourglass alone? Ooh, okay. Enjoy that face. That's a nice face. It is a nice face. I mean, what if we just use the face? Mm. We could do. I mean, let me try it with a... Uh, face is good. Yeah, I, I like that last face a lot. I like so, the idea of just using the face, frankly. Do you think so? Um... Let, let me let me see if I can get a, you know. Oh. Hmm. I'm getting crazy here. Ship wants the chunky belly. Okay. Chunky belly. <laughs> chunky belly, okay. Um, this one's a difficult one, actually. Uh, let's see. So... I also uh, maybe yeah I really like this 
um, ship has suggested the body from the the hourglass one, the top right, with the new head. Mm. With the new head. With with the just solo head on it. Okay. We are also going Oops. to need to make one for Titip, which is the songbird. So we can use some of these ideas. In oh, well. maybe maybe that skin that skinnier one would be better for mm-hmm. a songbird. Mm-hmm. Like adapted a bit, but. Mm-hmm. Um, so I like this triangle head. Um, I like that. Oh, I love that. And it works. This down line doesn't look right to me, but. I think this works and then hmm. this is just great i'm just sitting here while static i guess technically are you enjoying doing nothing Colin? i, I really am because <laughs> usually i'm sort of bouncing around and say oh look at this look at this look at this and here i just get to say mm, yeah it's interesting I get to have more of the viewer's experience. Oh, good. That looks like a horse. <laughs> that looks like a horse. No. Which we, we, do we have horses? Ship, do we have horses? Um, yeah, no, ship, I like that. Ship. That that looks good. It looks like a horse to me. I'm, you know, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure that body works with the face, you know? Well, I don't know. I think, I think that you could get away with just the face. Just the face. The yeah, I mean, oops. Um, do the first one. Maybe I can adapt that first one to make the face look a bit more similar. Mm-hmm. And so, do remember that we have six more of these to do in the next forty-five minutes. Oh dear! Oh god! <laughs> Make me speed up, guys. Sam, yes, chickens. That's exactly what's going on. We are um, we are making a writing system uh, for the language Pquack, and I suppose it is appropriate, um, as Emily Autumn points out, that we should be spending so much time on this grapheme, which is the uh, the the way of writing the word Pquack, or at least it's going to be the first uh, the first letter or yeah if, we, if we're gonna spend time on anything yeah it's got to be this it's got to yeah, be right exactly i'm just thinking of all those arrested yeah. development chickens you know the all that um, what do you guys think of this And then little legs. Hmm. Chickens aren't really known for their wings, are they? Outside of a oh, they flap. A delicious um, <laughs> buffalo they are context. For their wings. But they're, they're quite uh, small, aren't they? They can be. What do you guys think of this last one? I'd remove the wing. You'd remove the wing? Mm-hmm. I don't think that's very chicken essential. Mm, do we like, what legs do we like? I don't even think we need legs that much. Hmm, should we? Okay. If we're going without legs, then maybe we should go let's see let's see what was the head feel like so half of the chat is linguistics and the other half is chonk and for once i'm not sure which half i'm i'm in hmm 
because we have some diamond shapes going on, which is kind, which are kind of interesting. Sparsh, welcome. Glad you could join us. What do you guys think? We're making a writing system. I think that's great. I think it's fantastic. I think it's amazing. I think it's marvelous. Yeah, you got it. Mm. What do you guys think? I think that Bing nice bozu. that nice big sweeping line at the bottom. And that's that's Pukak. Like this? Yep. Yeah? You nailed it, Lucy. Okay, okay. But don't get rid so of the there, other stuff because there's a lot of good material up there. Yeah, yeah. I um I quite like this skinny one. Uh, on the left here. I don't know if my... This guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's next, Colin? What's next? Well, good question. I was so focused on Pukak that I... I lost all sense of time and propriety, frankly. All right, let's see what we have. Do We have PB. If you could scroll up a little bit so I could see what else we have. Thank you. We have PBM. We have... Uh, we don't have T, do we? We have D, but we don't have T. So we need T T. We need the songbird style bird. Oh, that's that's drawn even worse. I'm just gonna eat the other one. I'll redraw him later. Pukak. So is it just is it Pukak or just uh, let's write it as Pukak, P U K A K, uh, which the bird's so nice we named it twice in the document. <laughs> and uh, and then we've got. What's next? Titip. T I T I P. Titip. Cool. So. I like this. I wouldn't mind working on this. I really like that too. Yeah. Oops. Okay. I might redraw it slightly because it's a bit messy. I prefer it to Pequak actually. But I might work on Pequak a little bit later perhaps. So we've got. Little triangle. Got a little dude. I love his little legs. It's like one of those, you know, those executive desk toy birds. Yes. Chat, you know exactly. the ones I'm talking about, right? I really like this head. As well. Let's scroll down so I can show the word. Titip. Yeah? Mm-hmm. More or less? Okay, I like that. That's very cool. TDN. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, what uh, what other uh, consonants do we need to cover? What's the name of this word, Colin? Titip. Titip. I just like saying that. Titip. Titip. It's very cute. T I T. T I T I P. Ah, yes, we need re, sun. Sun. Okay, let's see. Sun, 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 sun. And then you know we're going to be we're going to be doing citra for s. Citra being phoenix, by the way. Ooh. Because this is a very bird centric language. Sun. Uh, definitely a diamond. I wonder if those lines would would uh, match up or would connect. So it's like a sun with an x in it. A diamond with an X in it. What do you guys think? I think it looks too piratey. I prefer the first one. The non-connected, I think. What if two of them didn't 
go inside. But two of them did. Okay, okay. Like that? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I kind of like... Maybe that. Oh, that's nice. Should we do that? Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, and the name of the is? Re. R-E. That is R-E. Very pretty. How, what else is there? How many have we got? Echoed word says it looks like a oh. crosshair. It does. Uh, hmm. All right, so we need to do S, right? Could you scroll up so I can see what we've done? Yeah, we need to do S. What's the word? Citra, Phoenix. Ooh. So we call it a phoenix. Okay. It's some kind of a mythical bird. Okay. But, you know, some Fine. something kind of mighty and worthy of a great hero like Duan Darun. And maybe, oh, I forget. What's our mythology? Is the phoenix associated with the sun? What if we made gave him the head of a sun? Ooh, that's cool. I like that. And then those M-shaped wing things? Yes, I am running out of space. Oh, my God. A sun with wings, says Galactic Sand. Mm -hmm. That's actually kind of oh, cool. Wings. Yeah, it looks quite intimidating, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. Something like that? That's actually quite cool. Yeah, I might try and condense it a bit. What if the wings came out of the sides of the sun? Mm, I think it would take away from the shape of it. Hmm. So sparse, yes, we're planning on doing some kind of historical spelling. So our first step is to create um, pictograms and then we're going to turn it into, I think, I don't know if we said an alphabet or a syllabary or if we, if the chat has any feelings about that. I'm somewhat inclined towards a syllabary because actually like, the Socrat languages are pretty easy to do that way, given their, their historical syllable structure. But I could definitely see yeah. Pak being spelled as if it's still an earlier form of Sakrat. Well, I enjoy that. Oh, I, I like this. Oh, that's like cool. I like this guy. Citra. Oh, that's really cool. Citra? With an H at the end. Sorry. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's take a look. What do we have? Have we covered P, B, what? we've covered P, B, T, D, K, G, M, N. Ah, but we've not covered our friend the velar nasal. And we have another kind of fish which we can use. Mutam. We don't know. Actually, I don't think we've actually talked much. I can say actually again in that sentence if I want. We can uh, we can use ngutam for a different kind of fish. So we have kes, and then we have ngutam, which is I don't know, maybe a big fish, maybe maybe a mythological fish. Who knows? We haven't said. We care yet. about birds and fish. We so, love birds and we love fish. Mm -hmm. We do love birds and fish. Okay, like a tuna or a shark. So, Galactic Sand says uh, Ngutam is more like a tuna or a shark. Oh, you just said that. Ha. Looks like there's a delay in the chat in my brain. In your brain. Hmm. Hmm. And then Ship says, guess our big fish in Ngutam are small in Quack. Anglerfish. Ooh. No, that's a deep sea fish. We're Laguni. 
just add um, fish. You could just do many fish, but uh, so that guess is fish, right? So do something. Hmm. River fish and then ocean fish. Is there a word for ocean? There is. Let's bring it up. Oh, What's sorry, sea, I think. Because Which is kusli. We could do some sort of... Hmm. We could emphasize that the fish is an ocean fish. Mm-hmm. So what would we... What would we do for ocean? That I do not know. What but I think, think I think rather than have deriving ocean fish from fish, that implies that they see kes and mutam. They see mutam as a kind of kes. But I think that mm. they're actually they consider them two base different categories. Just like we consider birds and fish to be different categories. Interesting. Okay. Triangular tail. Yeah, Marge says okay, so a diamond with a fish tail. A diamond with a fish tail. Could do that. Yeah, I like that. Could do um um Interesting. Hmm. I don't know about that one. I'm trying. Okay. I mean, it though it's well drawn. I just, I worry what, uh, mm -hmm. what teenagers might do with it. I don't get it, and I don't intend to. Okay. Probably for the best. Hmm. Got a kelpie feel. Diamond and triangle. Okay, let's give it a go. I'm glad I got the chat up. This is. This is a fantastic innovation. Yeah, I'm not sure I like it that much. Maybe it's the horizontalness. Of Why don't you do a vertical fish? Vertical fish coming up. Like it's strung up. Yeah. That's so horrible. I mean, for the fish. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. Fishy? No spine. That's so demanding. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no spine, just bod. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe that? But there's that spine again. True. I feel like it needs something more, though. That's nice. What do you think? Yeah. I like this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay good. Uh, what word's that? Mutam. You can just do N-G-U-T-A-M. Sorry. Mu, sorry, what now? N-G, like... N. Yeah, like Norman... N, N or M. Norman Gerhardt yep. uh, U-T-A-M. Oh, Norman see. Gerhard. All right, so <laughs> I don't know the things that pop into my head. Who who can really explain them? All right, no, so no one can, my friend. What they've tried, they brought in teams. So we need an L, I believe. No, we have L. That's Lupit, isn't it? So yeah, we need a yod, the Y. And oh, we don't have much. We have Yon, which is quick. We have Yusu, which is turn. And we have yo, which is the proper name. <laughs> They've put together a, a sound law for you, Lucy, where ng becomes ma in front of a u. Thanks. <laughs> oh, you guys promised you wouldn't make fun of me. Okay, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. 
No, no. Well, okay. So here's what we should do here. We have either yeah. quick or turn, which give us, as the chat is pointing out, both of the, um, both of them might involve those action lines that we've been using. Okay. I like those. I enjoy. The chat is having a massive, I love Lucy fest. Oh, well, thank you. Speed lines, speed lines. Okay. So what's the, what's the word and what does it mean? Uh, the word is yon, J-O-N, and it means quick yep. or fast. Oh, it means quick. Okay, interesting. So, I mean, we could just do, you know? What's a fast animal? A cheetah. A chicken. A chicken. <laughs> a chicken. Chicken. A running chicken. Hold on. Yeah, it's got to be a running chicken. But I think the chicken should be much simpler because it's running. Hold on. Chicken with speed lines. Although remember that, that we, we have trouble with horizontals because of the grain. So what if you did them diagonal? Yeah, like that. Or the other way, depending on your artistic sensibilities. The trouble will be to try and distinguish it from Bukak. Yes. But, oh, diving. I mean, we could just rotate. <laughs> no, we can't rotate it. That looks weird. Um, yeah, why don't we uh, try and draw the chicken more in action? So, if I start with the speed lines. You know. Look, he's really going for it. Mm -hmm. He really is. Fast bird. That'll do. What do you think? That'll do it. Okay. Fast bird. Fast bird. Yon. J-O-N. So the writing system, how it works so far is we're going to make it something phonetic phonetically based, but we're just coming up with the core symbols that will give us one for each consonant. And then we will probably, well, we'll have to call it a day. <laughs> but after that, I, I would like to innovate it so that we have one for each CV sequence, uh, constant vowel sequence. Um, but we can have alphabetic quack for now, or or maybe an abjad quack, because we don't have uh, separate ones for vowels. Okay, so then next we are going to, dun, 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 we need wa. What okay. is, uh, we have ra, ra is fire. Ooh. I think that's fire a, is a fun one. Fire is a fun one to draw. Mm. So, Queen wants an abugida. Um, yeah, we could do that. We could definitely do that. I think that would be fun. I just think it's so think? rare that I make a, that, that I ever make a language. I, I can't say that I've really made quack. My contribution has been pretty minor. Um, but it's so rare that I ever get to make one that works with a, a syllabary. Okay, what's what, what do, do we make? have here? Fire. Well, maybe there should be aura. Something like that? It does look more like trees. It does look a That's little a bit like trees. Like a forest, yeah. 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 I might save that though. Because I quite enjoy. We okay, have... well, do we have a word that is needed for forest? Um, I don't know if we have forest in, as a root. No, we don't. But let's keep it because we will. We'll need one at, at some point. Yeah. All right. That's saving for later. All right. So okay, um, I'm obsessed with spines. Maybe. 
you want the spines mm. but fire has no spine that sounds ominous yeah well it sounds ominous then you think about it and it actually sounds kind of silly possibly what about something with action lines again Because the sun has rays coming off of it. Maybe the fire has rays coming off of it. Um. Oh, Alethea says the protoscript should have circular direction of writing because it's on a coconut. I kind of like that idea. Like ah, we could go in cool. a spiral. Ooh, clockwise or anti-clockwise spiral. Well, that depends on which side in the great uh, Quack Civil War you you took. Mm, fair. What do you think of this? This one? I kind of like that. Yeah, it could look like a person screaming, but it kind of looks like the face-ish of the sun slash phoenix. So mm -hmm. it kind of... I think fire should be asymmetrical. To me, I feel like fire should be symmetrical. Hmm. If your fire has a spine, it may be a lion. Okay, I, I really like this. All right. I think. So let it be written. So let it be done. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Uh, okay. Uh, and the pronunciation was. Ura. W R A. Lovely. What's left? All right. How many do we have here? We should have. One, two, three, four. Fifteen. Um. Yeah. Fifteen is all we need. P B T D K G. M N N R L Y A W S A H. We're good. We have everything. Lovely. Okay. So we have 15 minutes left. Let's do an experiment. If we wanted to make this into an abjad, which is a, it's like an alphabet, but you don't write the vowels. I don't know if that rings any bells for you, Lucy. Yes. Hmm. Slightly. wonder what that's like. So given that just for time constraints, this is all we can really work with. How would we simplify these if we were writing on paper with a, a brush? Okay. Um, probably I would say I'm thinking like this, you know? Mm-hmm. Or something. Repeat. Oh, echoed words. That's so cool. Poet. So here's a cool idea. Um, poetry mm -hmm. written inside the coconut that's intended to loop, so that no matter where you start reading it, and what direction you read it in, it still makes up a poem. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I love that. What do you think of these? So keep in mind that with the the brush, you may be under pressure not to lift the brush as you type. Uh, type, right. Mm. <laughs> oh dear, brain broken by technology. Ooh. That's fun. Yeah, I kind of like that. How did, how did you make that? It, it, there's two. It, I did lift the... So I did. What would it look like if you didn't lift it? Bit of a mess. <laughs> it needs lifting. And then Nakri would be that. I know it doesn't look like it. But do you see where I've got it from? Mm -hmm. Here, could you write them sort of side by side? Is that possible so we can see the evolution? Is that super annoying to do? Yeah, a little bit. That's fine. <gasps> oh, come on, Naki, you can do it. Everyone pray for my computer. He is an old man. But he does his best. And one day, okay. one day, Lucy, we'll hit <laughs> the big time and, and we'll be able to get that new computer. Oh, that would be great. Okay, and then... That's pretty... I get a kind of 
hiragana vibe from that one especially i get a hiragana and also hebrew script vibe mm. from all of these which makes sense due to the languages that i know how to write um yeah it's and then this one. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, it's a Dalid. <laughs> oh no. What do you don't do this to me yeah, where hit... where all the letters where all the letters in an alphabet are just basically rotations of the other ones. It's 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 perverse. You have the entire possibility space open to you and you choose to make everything a rotation of the same shape i hate it i hate it okay latin alphabet latin alphabet hardest hit by the way yeah i like that i like the little z shape that keeps yeah, showing up hmm. okay this is a really important a really important one yeah i know this is why i'm but I just want to make sure it feels quick to write. Mm -hmm. hmm. Mot is an onigiri. So says the chat. It is. I'm hungry. It is. Yeah. I may eat after this. <laughs> I have a brownie waiting for me. Um, He's nice and chunky, Ship. Or is that a bit much? Maybe. I'd love to be able to keep some of that detail in the. Like a big three. It's kind of like a big three, then with a little. Little hat on the uh, top. What if you did like a. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, uh, that's quite cute. Yeah, mm. that's quite cool. I'm going to keep that like that for now and then I, you know, I feel like if you were going to be lazy, it would just be that. But that's three strokes. So that's actually not that lazy. I think it needs to be lazier. Lazy enough? Two. Can you do it in one? It can. Kind of a mess. <laughs> That's a mess. Hmm. No, I, I feel like I feel like that. I feel like it's gonna be a circle with a cross. The cross just seems kind of just make it just antithetical to the spirit of the ones we've done so far though. Just make it a spiral. Yeah, yeah, make it a spiral. Mm. Like with, cl yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Um, Nutam. Hmm. That's kind of cute. What do you think? Yeah, an eight with a little, eight. with a little hat. Mm. Oh, this is. Uh... I didn't even. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I did redo. Um... What's it gonna be? So we've got. Does he look fast? I think we need to to actually Im indicate the lines. So yes, that, but with a little bit of action for the lines. You know what I mean by the, the line? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Mm -hmm. It's 
one's very difficult. Why don't you just do a little squig a Z over there? At the bottom? Yeah. Like the same Z that you've been doing in Mot and in Lupit. You could just do it in Yon. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so it's got the base of the bookcock. Mm hmm Oh, I'm making a writing system that I would hate to learn. And by yeah, I, hate this. and by I, I mean you. <laughs> you are making it. I would hate to learn it. Um, so, I'm just an, an observer. <laughs> That's cute. Quadru what do you think? It's a quadruple U. It is. It's a W with a W on top. It is. It's a Wario. Uh, not W. Can we just do that? That works. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Uh, yeah, Na okay. Nakri and Re will, will destroy me. Certainly. Nakri and Re. Really? <laughs> yeah, they look oh, the same. One's... No, they don't. They one's do. a spiral and one's crossed over. Yeah, but they hey, look the same. Silly. Nah. They do. You know the brain doesn't no. store things exactly as little photographs. It stores certain certain features, and the, the features that mine is storing are not the ones that yours is storing. Mm, okay, okay. Well, apologies. By the way, that's not me speaking as a linguist. That's me speaking as a frustrated learner. Oops. Yes, I know. So, maybe? What do you think? That's kind of nice. Hmm. Has a, has a feel. How are you going to do that one? Can you get that one down to one stroke? I could do that. But I feel like it needs a thing. What if you do a little loop de loo around the end? So, so do what you did before and then, yeah. I'm making things that you would hate even more. Yeah, I know. But that's actually realistic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to write, to be honest. You could just do for Girak, you could just do something pointing up and then the same thing pointing down. Mm. Oh, Girak is going to look so good. Something like that? Yeah. I like that. I like that too. They feel nice and smooth. All right. Home stretch here. Nearly done. What do you think of just that? Many different variations of this same, this very script. Hmm. Maybe you could combine the first two and then the, add the second one as a little line on the side. That's pretty. That's nice. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, it's what's... got a leaves blowing in the wind feel. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen with the deep? Oh, lordy. Um... Right. Okay, I'm thinking. Yeah, echo of words. Angular bawur looks a bit like a firework, and rounded moat looks a bit like onigiri. I enjoy. What do you think of that? It's a bit complicated. You're not wrong. What about just a single stroke off to the side or like a little dot to represent the legs? Mm. Oops. That? Mm, maybe not crossing, just like a little dot. Well, you know, like a little bit. Sorry, I'm bad at this. <laughs> I have something very specific in my head, like a little slash, you know. 
but oriented the mm. other way. Yeah. That way? Yeah. What, what about that? Do we like mm. it? I don't think we like it. It's not the most comfortable to... I know I'm right-handed, so obviously... Ooh, could we have a script that's good for left-handed people, please? Yes. <laughs> um, I can try and write with my right with my left hand. Uh, maybe another day. We're we're oh, coming gosh. close to the <laughs> end here, so let's let's finish up here with the deep. Maybe it is just a double and loop, a double loopy, double loopy friend. What do you guys think? Vertical. Hmm. Oh, like that. Yeah, that's nice. All right. And then... And then the final lovely... Right. So that one was up. I think we should do... Um... Uh, ship vertical Ooh. scripts for left-handed people. I got to look into this. I just wrote some cards and... You know, dear blah blah blah. It's very nice to etc. And then I finish, you know, pouring my heart out with all these, these beautiful words and emotions. And then I go to sign. And I notice that I've just smudged the entire thing. And then I say, well, that's from the heart. So we'll leave it. <laughs> the pain of the left-handed. What do you think of that? That's kind of cool. Where's the sun? Ah, because the sun. Mm-hmm. Ha, ha, ha. I like that. I enjoy that. I might simplify some things <laughs> myself if I ever want to write quack. But... Uh, I enjoy the squiggles. This is nice. This. this is very nice. Oh, Lucy, well done. This has been really, really cool. Oh, good. Um, I Also, I I would enjoy if it was syllables a lot to be honest yeah but. well we'll have to make some more we'll have to do this again and come up with some more uh graphemes so that we can do it as syllables yeah all right so i think this is our time friends thank you so much for joining us let me just scoot back over let's just take one last look at what lucy has created be in awe this is absolutely delightful and beautiful and we, it's not the last we'll we'll have seen of this but uh, but for today uh, we'll we'll say our goodbyes. YouTube, thank you so much for joining us. This has been absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel, uh, viewing, subscribing, commenting. Those of us who subscribe on uh, who f help us on Patreon, we appreciate all of you, members of the Discord. This has been an absolute delight over the past eleven months. And just imagine, in just eleven months, we've gone from from nothing to two thousand. So who knows where we'll get to by this time next year. So thanks again to all of you. Uh, it's been an absolute joy. Uh, I'm gushing. All right, I'll stop. Lucy, anything to say? No, um, thank you guys. I had fun. Um, and I, I hope you enjoyed my random squiggles. Thanks for, thanks for your help. We'll see you next time, YouTube.